everything away from the walls. But unfortunately, there's a pile of things in the, in the somewhat center of the room that I'm trying to work around. And it's a little bit tight. Do you mind, plant? these little ridges and make sure they're smooth so when I come to skim coat this I'm not dealing with a bunch of bumps. Alright, I think we're good. Guess I need my something to stand on again. You get the gist of it. mixed up some Durabond. We're hitting up the corners right now and afterwards I will finish up with joint compounding, feathering that all in and making it look smooth. Because that'll have trim, trim up there. Okay. So just that failed seam, I think we should do. Yeah. Yep.
thing. You, you, you use paper towels like I, they're going out of style. I'm not using that. Not right now. Just wait till I let you loose on this bucket. Greg and I finished up the corners. <laughs> We cleaned up the tools, and as soon as that dries, we'll hit up the walls with some more joint compound. Are you doing bunny ears behind my head? Absolutely not. Greg and I got to do the corners and the failed seams in a couple spots last night. And tonight, I'm going to finish the skim coat I started yesterday. <laughs> of the walls we still have stuff in the way of a couple and our plan was to get the wall behind me and the wall to the right of me squared away get some paint on that and then move everything this way and finish up the walls on that side of the room so we'll see how it goes and we'll keep you posted hope this helps if you have any questions or comments make sure to leave me a message below I'll be sure to respond right away. Thank you for watching.